Larkin has been doing stand-up comedy for about three years. Uh, he's been in the Great Canadian Laugh-Off, and he's been in the St. John's Comedy Fest. Uh, we had an opportunity to talk to Gary about being a young comic just starting out. First time I did stand-up was um, at Yuck Yucks, and it was for the Great Canadian Laugh-Off. And um, I was 16, and I followed John Sheen at the time, and uh, it didn't go over well. It did, uh, I was just kind of new to writing and only did it for my friends. Um, but I got laughs and uh, I didn't spend the whole night crying, so it was, it was pretty good. There was a teacher going around asking all the kids where the babies come from. And uh, all the kids said, oh, they come from storks, they all come from storks. And she came to the last kid and said, hey, where do babies come from? And he kind of paused, he was confused, and he looked up and said, I always thought babies came from alcohol and bad decisions. <laughs> As um, everywhere, like I, I do one-liners, I do uh, stories, I do um, kind of really dry humor. Probably dry is the best, is the best with quick wit. It's probably the best way to uh, to describe it. So this is funny. This is uh, this happened yesterday. True story. I was, as you know, it was midnight madness in the village. Who went in? No one went in good. You're still alive. That's why we're here. I uh, know. I sit on a bench, and because uh, that's what I do when it's midnight madness. I sit on benches. And there was an old dude sitting. I don't know who he was. You know, he was just sitting there. And uh, he just said, "Hey, you got the time?" So yeah, yeah. It's two o'clock. Okay. And he stopped talking. He said, "Geez, Bob, how is this place still open? No one's ever in here. Jesus, once a year. Okay, calm down. It's not here." And so I looked away, and he, he like he's. You know, 60, 70, I looked away, I thought the conversation was over, I didn't know the man. So I looked away, and all of a sudden, hey, but at least there's some senior in here, you know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> um, when I was a kid, I was uh, really quiet, actually. I got um, picked on a lot. And uh, I think that's, that's where I developed my kind of wit as a defense to, uh, I guess, the other kids, what they'd say, I'd have to say something better back, so they'd just stop. Uh, so as a kid, I was actually, I wasn't, I wasn't that funny. I wasn't funny at all. I was uh, really quiet and just mellow. I met a, uh, a southern church playing, no, church playing, that makes sense. A southern softball playing church group. Uh, they were interesting. Um, they had weird accents, man. Sounds funny. It sounds funny. And I said, really? My accent sounds funny? I'd rather have this one than one that sounds like it developed through incest. <laughs> they never talked to me after that day. <laughs> I don't know what. If I wasn't even comedy then, I'd be lost. Comedy's just my kind of uh, gate to talking, I guess. Like, you know, because God forbid your parents don't want to hear you talk about, you know, how people dance or your views on things. So it was just kind of an outlet for me to express uh, my view in the world, I guess. Uh, no, I've been, I was to uh, Boston, which is not a lot of things to do in Boston. Um, they have a, a Six Flags theme park in uh, New England, which I didn't go to. For this reason, this actually happened. Before it went down, it was on the news that there were people on a roll or some ride in Six Flags and they lost their legs. Their legs. Wow. You know the things you walk on? <laughs> they don't grow back. They don't. How do you lose your legs? I don't understand how you lose your. What? How do the people handle that below you? Your limp to limp feet just getting <laughs> hit in the face. How does the park handle that? So you lost your legs. Uh, here's some free passes. <laughs> You can just come back and you lose more limbs for free and you can leave. You can leave as a family of mannequins. If anyone wanted to get into comedy, I would say write some stuff, do it for your friends, see how they react, do it for family, and if they think you're funny, or if you think you're funny, um, sometimes it's by arrogance. If you think you're funny, then just come in, try it out, and uh, see how it goes. It won't hurt to try. It's all about risks. The comedy scene in St. John's is, um, 
it's it's growing. Um, I would like to see more places that would hold stand up gigs besides Yucks. Like downtown isn't that's kind of dying out now, um, which is a shame because there's so many new comics. Especially especially now, there's lots of new comics coming up and trying to do stand up and. Yuck Yucks is the, the only really place to do it um, in, a, in a good atmosphere besides an open mic downtown where people are yelling and drunk and stuff. But um, it's good. I'm glad people are people are still doing it, even if it's once a week or once every two weeks. Um, it's still good to get out and, and just do it whenever you can. I don't, I don't enjoy dancing because I don't know uh, how to dance. Like, if you look back to when Elvis was around, which is, I'm only 18, so I wasn't there, but he uh, he shook his leg, and that was considered sexual, and now we have people that have sex to dance. I don't <laughs> understand. And they're all the same. Right? They're so long. I can't, I, oh, God. I was dancing with one girl, and it was, I didn't, I wanted to end, because I didn't want to be dancing with her. But, oh, but it was, and there's this remix, which are the worst, because like 10 minutes, book, 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 all over again. And by the time it ended, I was, I was, I had a beard. <laughs> I had kids and a mortgage. It's, it was a long time. And I don't know where to put my hands if a girl is doing this. I just, I, and then I raised the roof. <laughs> For like four hours. <laughs> but what happened when, what happened like when you're younger and no one danced? It was just girls. Stay me. <laughs> Guys, nothing. There's nothing in here. And look at what are they called. What is things called in the Wild West? You know what I'm talking about? Tumbleweed, yes. Tumbleweeds. They were funnier if I had to know what it was called. <laughs> <laughs> Those weedy things. But no one danced. Like, if you dance with a girl, then, you know, all your little friends are making fun of you. Yeah, cooties. And cooties these days are herpes. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> I've had cooties once. <laughs> Won't go away. But and if you did dance with a girl, you know, all your little friends that make fun of you, and you'd cry, and you'd go home, and it'd, your mom would bathe you. And you... <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> And you'd tell her about it, and she'd cry, and, uh, like, I can't remember that. Wait, when was the last time I did like that? <laughs> Yesterday, actually. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll look back on this and go, wow, that was where I uh, started. And, you know, I, I would love to really like to perform at um, Just for Laughs, that big festival. That's been one of my goals since I started doing comedy. So that I'm going to aim for that. You know, hopefully in five or ten years, I'll um, be closer than what I am now.